This is going to go on that little bass buggy. That's the quickest way to add some buoyancy to your boat, make it a tri-tune in the sport tune way. Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. Today, it's a Saturday. It's kind of when we do these little projects. This is a sport tune. It's like 160 inches long. Do the math on that for feet. This is gonna go on that little bass buggy. It's just got a little 20 horse on it, but the lake that they love to fish on They've taken some waves over from those Dalgarn, Dalgarn? <laughs> no. From those Gal Darn wakeboard boats. So they get a couple guys up front fishing or grails and they've taken a couple waves over. Not fun, not cool. This is gonna be way more buoyancy and they're gonna prevent that issue from ever happening this again. This is gonna be way more buoyant. Buoyant, what did I say? Buoyancy. It's gonna give them more buoyancy. Yeah. Man. So it's anywho, if you come over, this is a channel system of angle that we're going to use because these are on 24 inch centers. The boat's got 18 inch center, give or take, for cross members. So what I'm going to do right now is just use my spool gun. I'm going to go ahead and weld full top and bottom on each of these. And then that'll allow us to use this two inch channel to drill holes in to catch the cross members of the boat where the cross members are independent of these again this is a 20 horsepower motor they're never going to change that it's a brand new little motor but we just want more buoyancy more safety higher ride so that's what we're going for if you have a high horsepower motor maybe this isn't the best way to do it for you but in this application this is going to be the best way to install it the best all-around fit up and everything i'm going to get to welding on this and then we'll get to putting it on the boat in a little bit here So our little welded on channel system is working really, really well. We'll give you a closer look at that in a second here. Uh, we did the two towards the front on the main channel, and now I'm gonna get the two in the back. We got everything squared up really, really well. Actually, they lined right up, and now I'm gonna get these back bolts in. Then we'll fill in the rest of the cross members and get the front. I'm gonna get the back ones in, and then we can work our way through and just drill and bolt. 3 8 inch stainless steel with a nylock nut is what we're using. That's what a nylock nut looks like. That's not going anywhere. With 14 washers. Just a washer on each side. Baby shark, mama shark. It is a much larger diameter tune. That's just gonna help with buoyancy and it pushes back pretty far, basically all the way to their transom. We were able to bolt it up all along. And then this front, I think it's a pretty solid look. It's gonna be real buoyant. They're gonna be really happy. That's the quickest way to add some buoyancy to your boat, make it a tri-tune in the sport tune way. It's gonna work great for these guys. Where are your sketchers? They're still drying out from the dip in the river. Please remember to like this video, comment with questions. Would you do this to your boat? Do you think it would help? Let us know, subscribe to our channel. All of the views and subscriptions and everything help our channel to grow and help make it worth all the time that goes into making these videos, editing these videos, answering your questions, all of that. And if you're shopping for your pontoon boat, seats, flooring, accessories, pontoonstuff.com is the place to go. Use our discount code. It's Tom's Tunes, all one word, at checkout, and it'll save you 5%. It helps our channel a little bit too. Everybody wins. Thank you for watching again.